call the Wildcats. I'm Mark Weeder. And I'm Craig. Welcome to the WCMS Morning News. The yearbook discount price of $20 has been extended through the end of April, which I closed today. The Governor's School for Science and Math will host an information session at 6 p.m. May 9th at the Daniel Morgan Tech Center. If you are really good at these subjects and interested in attending this school, you should check it out. If, if you have any books, don't wait anymore. Bring them to the media center for the book drive. Students who donate books in good condition will receive PBIS tickets. It's time to finish up those genre pizzas for the year. Everyone who completes their pizza may attend the Reader Celebration May 17th. We will have food, games, and prizes. This is the last week to donate your March of Dawn, support your home room and premature babies at the same time. Spartanburg High School is looking for dancers for its production of Sister Act. Auditions will be held Friday at 4 p.m. in the Spartanburg High Chorus Room. The dance will be taught on site. No, no preparation is necessary. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful walk at day. We're back with Test Tip Tuesday. Today tip, today's tip is about questions that use maps. So what do I do if I have a question? Have, that has a map. Well, first read the title of the map. This will tell you what information they are trying to cover. You. Okay, then what? Then you look at the legend. The what? The legend or the map key is a little box that tells you what all the symbols mean. For instance, in this map, it tells you that the yellow parts of Australia gets under 10 inches of rain each year, whereas the dark blue gets more than 40 inches. I see. You might also need to look at the scale of the map to see how many miles are represented by an inch. That way you can get an idea of how big of an area the map is showing you. Yes, this one is showing us a whole continent, so it's called scale. So it's scaled down pretty small. And don't forget about the long, longitude and latitude. Oh, I always get those mixed up. No, see, it's easy. Longitude has the word long in it. So something that's long goes up and down. What with, with latitude, think of lat, wrong with fat. And fat people are wild horizontally, so the line go across uh, the latitude. I get it now. Great. Once you've figured out what everything on the map means, then go back and read the question again to see what it's asking. At that point, the answer should be obvious. I will try that. We'll be back next week with more test taking tips. See you then.